Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to retrieve all customer or retrieve some specific customer. If you remember, in earlier tutorial, we have already seen how to retrieve customer on the basis of customer ID. So where you can get the customer ID? So if you go to the customer section, you can see all the customer are here. I'm currently having 11, right? So I'm just going to open any user. You can see here, right? CUS. So this is the customer ID. If you scroll down, you can see this is the customer ID. So this was our earlier way. In that way, what we have to done, we have to just copy paste the customer ID. So in that scenario, I'm expecting like, you know, the customer ID. So once you will run the program, you can see the details of that user, right? You can see here, right? All the things, whatever the name, right? Name, object, phone, you can cross check also. But suppose I don't know the customer ID of user or I need to retrieve all the user. So how we can do? So what I will do, I will just use the same program. First of all, we need to declare one map. That map will contain a string and object. I'm going to give the name as a params and it will be new has map, right? So first parameter what we have to mention. So if you are familiar with the pagination, so what is pagination? Suppose I'm having one lakhs of data, but I don't want all the data at a time. So what you can do, you can just use the pagination. Like you can pass your limit like five or 10. So first time you'll get five data, then next five, the next five like that one. So we need to also use the limit. So limit what will happen, whatever will put the limit size, it will just get only that data. So just use params, then put here the key value will be limit right and i'm just going to mention as a three right so if you are using only one customer you can use here customer but if you are going to get so many customer more than one then what you have to do you have to use customer collection right you can see here so i'm just going to put as a customers and here you have to change right so what you can do customer dot list right and just we need to pass our parameter now i'm just going to print in the console right so you can see what i have done this is my stripe key you can get your stripe key after that i am using one parameter i have defined in that parameter i have just added the limit so what is the size three so i am expecting like i will get only three user here i have passed my parameter and i will get all the customer here then I'm going to print here, right? So just run this one. Once you will run, you can see here, right? All the three user I'm getting. So how you can cross check, just copy all the things. Just go to the new tab, JSON viewer, right? Just open and paste your code, right? You can see first, second, third, right? So this is the first user, right? You can see customer ID. So if I'm going to mention as a five, right? So what we'll get, we'll get the five user, right? So just again, cross check. So just copy, come here, go to the text, paste, go to the viewer, and you can see, right? All the five user. So this is the fine. We are going to get all the data. But if you see here has more, this means like it contain more than five user. So if you want to again retrieve more data, you can retrieve. But you don't want like all the user, you want some specific user like this one abc at the rate of gmail.com. So how we can get that user. So we can also get the same way. Just copy that email and in place of limit, we need to use the email field, right? So the key will be email. And in place of five, I'm just going to mention that particular email. Now, if I will run, I will get only that user, right? ABC at the rate of gmail.com. You can see here request email is ABC, right? And if you go top side, you can see that customer ID, right? So this is the customer ID, just go and cross check, right? 
this is the same user so how you can pass some more limit so in key value either you can pass limit email created ending before or starting after right so these are the key value you can pass and you can get your data i hope this video will help you please like and subscribe talented developer